Well, you know, two minutes in, and I've already accidentally shorted the terminals and blown the goddamn fuse. Well, this is weird. It isn't the fuse. Um, I thought the fuse was blown. It's actually this unit, and um, it just seems to have packed in. There's a bit of a bang. I thought I'd short the wires. It looks like that unit blew up. Well, that's a bummer, isn't it? They're only a fiver anyway. Strange. I've had that for years. Did all kinds to it. Okay, anyone who calls me a botch merchant has to realise I use only the top quality home and bargain insulation tape. Here we are. I'm about to leave this out because it seems to have died. It's a pity actually because I'm going to show you how much power they use. Anyway, right, so I don't know if this is going backwards or forwards, but let's um, see. Right, it works like a dream. Ooh, don't you just love doing that? Now the problem is, it slips under power. It's not the cogs, it's not the gears. I, I, I've ruled out any slipping on the shafts. Maybe the... Uh, that cog under there, I thought maybe that had come loose and was spinning on the uh, spindle. Couldn't work it out, tried everything. And it just, it powers the bike along about 15 miles an hour, but if you try to go up a hill, it just sits there like a spinning clutch with the motor. Just... And everyone was saying, oh, the nylon gears have burned out. They haven't, they're perfect. It's very strange. So all I can think of is the magnets have come loose and they're slipping under load and heat. I don't really know how they're attached. Are they glued? I, I, I thought maybe they just held themselves in. Anyway, what I'm going to do is a really stupid thing. I'm going to try and hold the outside of the motor and see if I can uh, stop it. So wish me luck. Okay, I've got the uh, tape on holding the front on. I'm going to get about half power. I'm just going to see if I can stop the buddy thing. Oh, look at that! I was absolutely right. Oh yeah, not too bad. The magnets are spinning. Well, I never. Let's try that again. Well, that is pretty freaky, isn't it? Maybe you can't see it, but I, I'm setting for I'm setting for my gloves here. <laughs> right, I don't know what to do now. The magnets are spinning. They, are they glued in place? Is this normal? Okay, so the basis of the problem is, is I bought this smaller motor some time ago and I foolishly thought that they were all just the same and they just called them 350 watt and 750 watt I had no information to think anything else but obviously this is much more metal and it can take a lot more heat dissipation so running two and a half thousand watts into a three and a half 350 watt motor I quickly burnt it out but it would appear that the phase wires survived the coil survived but the actual magnets came loose when it overheated. I mean, that's all I can think of. You know, there's the two motors alongside each other. I didn't really notice a lot of difference in actual power output. It flew along perfectly well and climbed well. But then all of a sudden it just went, I'm not having it anymore, and died on me. Well, it didn't die. It just wasn't providing any drive. So maybe this is common knowledge. It's new to me. But uh, I don't know what to do next. Maybe you can get some magnet glue, or maybe I'm doing this completely wrong. Further investigation will be required. Now here is the original planetary gears off the motor. They're perfectly all right, as you can see. No slippage, no melting. And so everyone's gonna say next, well, the clutch is slipping. No, because I've replaced it with that one. 
and and another one and still got exactly the same thing and that one works perfectly oh my god look at all the metal shavings around here and i'm leaving magnets oh my god i am such a botch merchant seriously all right i'll have to just sort of uh give them a good clean there's even a bit of jesus christ I deserve everything I get, don't I? <laughs> so there we are anyway. Oh, it's actually warm. I don't know if that's just my hands rubbing on it friction-wise. Yeah, the coils are completely cool. And if you want to see what uh, cottering looks like, that's when you join the two together. Like that. And then you can't turn it. Well, you can, but it, it resists because it's creating its own electrical current and magnetic field. So you know when your phase wires have melted together. Magic in it, electrics. Here we go then, found it already. Similar type of brushes, motor. Scroll, 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 scroll. Here we go. Your motor is reaching a temperature that is weakening the glue and de-bonding, deboning, deboning the magnet. Glue perishes over time. And the result is a deboned magnet. Okay. Even a shock in the form of a crash or perhaps being dropped can do it. There you go. So required higher wear. Hobby King super glue and baking soda. All right. Obviously, you've got to give it a good clean. So you need thinners. You need. Uh, to clean it I guess and um, I'll get to the good bit the glue bit that's the problem I've got I think they are spinning and they shouldn't be you would have thought they'd be held in mechanically wouldn't you surely not anyway there you go uh, I'm gonna give it a go because it's not a bad little motor it's even actually got intact hull sensors which is a uh, big news for me so sorry about the yellow tinge it's I'm using the GoPro doesn't like the uh, the light. At least it's not flickering. Okay then, guys. Uh, things are a bit tight at the moment. I'm uh, having to go down to Devon all the time to see the parental unit. So I thought I'd just do a little quick video on something I've been thinking about doing for the time. So now I know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.